Hi guys and welcome to Contextual Electronics. My name is Chris Gamble. Today we're going to be talking about footprints and specifically when you have a data sheet that says, hey, your solder paste stencil needs to be different than your footprint. This is actually something I ran into yesterday and I had actually not played with it yet. And so I started thinking, well, this would make a great video. So let's go and make a fake footprint and start looking at how we can add a solder paste stencil that is different than the actual footprint itself. Okay, so we're going to start in this uh, one design we've been looking at here, mostly just because there's a library that uh, already exists for this. That's all I really want to do, because I'm going to go right into the footprint editor. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and I'm going to actually open a, uh, a footprint in the QFN DFN footprint family. So that's going to be under package. Actually, let's just type for it. Package DFN QFN. And then in here, I go up to here, This the little folder icon should be open and select by browser. So this allows me to, again, I have to go to package DFN QFN. That loads up all the libraries here. And then I'm going to just grab one of these. So I'll just grab the six pin, three by three millimeter, 95 millimeter pitch uh, with an exposed pad underneath. Okay, so first things first, uh, if we go into the pad number one here, what we can see is that this pad already has a couple items attached to it. First, obviously, it exists in the copper. That's important because you need to have copper placed there. It means it's going to exist on whatever layer. You, you know, it says front copper, but it's really whatever layer that you put it on. So if this board, if this part is put on the front side of the board, it's going to be a pad on the front copper. If, it's, if the entire part is put on the back side, it's on the back copper. And we'll go over other stuff in the future where we can you know, play around with that if we want to have multiple sides and multiple copper layers, that kind of thing. Even stuff like this, you can do all copper layers if you're doing like a you know, heat sink or some crazy thing in the middle there. Uh, what we also see here, though, is that we have uh, the same shape on the front dot paste layer and the front dot mass layer. That means that there will be an opening in the solder paste stencil and we've talked about that a little bit in the past, but basically it's just allowing when you scrape solder paste past it, that will, be, that will go on top of the pad. And the same thing, the, there will be an opening in the solder mask, which means that if your entire board is green and you want to have a pad that's you know co copper and silver, then you open up the green part and you'll have the copper exposed, which then will get plated with, with uh, uh, either gold or lead uh, solder, right? So lead or non-leaded solder. So that's just this is just a standard pad here. This is everything we've talked about in the past. What we're going to do here, though, is we're going to actually turn off the paste layer. And now what I'm going to do is uh, the data sheet I saw is it actually had the solder, solder paste slightly outside of the pad itself. right? So what we want to do is we want to cl uh, click this part. I'm going to turn on a grid so it's just a smaller grid here. Since I'm in millimeters, I'm going to just go by 0.05. And I'm going to click the part of the pad itself. I'm going to hit Control D, which is duplicate. I'm going to move it outside just you know a couple steps here. I'm not actually using the measurement, but what you know what we might do is we might actually have a measurement where it goes you know it says okay you need to move the, the solder paste 20 mils outside of the the pad itself. I'm going to click, and now what you see is just actually two pads here. So it looks like it's 11, but it's actually pad one and pad one. What we're going to do is select the outside pad here. I'm going to edit it by hitting E. I'm going to remove the number. And then what I'm going to do is say, don't put it on any copper layer. And instead, we're just going to put it on the paste layer. There we go. And so now we actually see, and I actually changed the colors yesterday so that my front uh, paste layer is actually gray. And I think that's really helpful because now when you see it, you say, oh, well, it's outside. It, you know, it looks like it's a, a different pad here. But that means it's outside of the, uh, the, the, the pad itself. So let's go and drop this into our design. We can do that, I think, with this button. Yep. Insert footprint into current current board. Did that work? It did not work. I thought that worked. Okay. Oh, there it is. It's up in the corner. Okay. Might be two up there. Yep, there's two. That's all right. All right, so what we're going to do is just drop this onto the board. All I really want to see is I want to see this in relation to everything else because I'm going to go to the 3D viewer now. Hit Alt-3. That should open up the 3D viewer. And it's a little bit hard to see because the part's on top of it. But what we really, really want to do is we have to turn off the 3D viewer now, or the uh, 3D part. Let's turn that off. And now what we see is that that, foot pr that pad has a solder paste st uh, stencil that will be outside of that top thing. And so what we can do is we can go and re repeat this over and over and over again. Now you see that the center pad here already has some, some different uh, setup on it. Uh, I believe if we turn off, we can't turn off the center. Oh, we can turn off the copper layer. But I think this one might have been, 
there is a setting in here where it was it was broken down to have uh, the the four the six pads instead of just the one large pad. And what that helps with is is putting less solder paste on the the center pad there because if you have too much solder paste in there, the base of the whole part will start floating, and that could be problematic for your for your uh, assembly. So this is just one way to customize uh, inside of the footprint editor. This is good as you start seeing more and more, as we talked about in one of the past uh, videos with crazier and crazier footprints as things get smaller. You know, you have to start playing with, you know, you have to basically follow the manufacturer's recommendations, which is the main thing here. And when you do that, you might have to play around a little bit and, and learn some tricks like this. Hopefully you found, hopefully you found this useful. If you have any other uh, thoughts about how this could improve, you can always go to the KiCad form. That's form.kicad.info. And Contextual Electronics is where we do this kind of stuff all the time. And you can check that out at contextualelectronics.com. That's all for now. We'll have more footprint videos and more KiCad coming up for you soon here on Contextual Electronics YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.